Hey everyone, Mango Seminole here. How are we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Epic Seven The Collab. We finally get all the information here from Baiken and um Soul Bad Guy, those are their names. I just want to say I've already recorded this video once and I had to do it again because there is so much information everywhere in Bits of Pizzas. My original um react to things as I see them just didn't work since everything was wrong. Um, and I decided to redo the video because I didn't want to get you guys mad at me. So I'm sorry you don't get to see my initial reaction. I do know what's coming this time, but uh, I am pretty excited. So I didn't get 50 PMs this morning, so I knew things did not go terribly wrong. Um, we have Baiken here. And one thing I want to say is I, I feel like a lot of GG fans, like fans of GG, not of Epic Seven, are going to be really mad at this. Uh, this is coming from somebody outside who seems like um, a lot of Baiken's charm is from her walk animation, and they took that away from her. So they gave oh, her this on, animation instead, um, which is very sad because it's so basic. She and if you've seen uh, her animation in the actual Batman. game, you would know why. From and just Google point, Baiken walk, walk animation if you haven't. Sura, obsessed with exacting revenge on that. So they've got a different VA here too. Also to note, her triple S is 10.8% attack for everybody. Um, let's Batman. get going. Tough and decisive, she boasts fighting. See, look at that walk. It's so that sad. Happened. If you saw her walk before and you've oh my god, it just makes me really sad. So her first skill is to Tommy Gaishi, a basic skill that inflicts bleeding on the enemy. Um, I think it's two bleeds. We'll go into specifics once I get to their character basic page. Skill that inflicts um, I just want to look the at the animations here with you guys because this part I did not watch. The event of a critical um kind of cool with the kick there. Serane Sanzu Watashi. Oh, that, that is amazing that looking. I did not see that one before. On That's enemies. super great looking. An extra look at it, look at it. Just of a critical hit. love the way she does that. And then her special. Garyo Tensei. A skill that deals <laughs> I love it! The number of it's so awesome. On the enemy. In the event so, of hit, so awesome. The combat readiness of all allies is increased. Now let's watch Soul Bad Guys here. Um, that is really loud. Ah! If you want to live, pal, you better not hold back. A gear killer and bounty hunter who roams the world capturing one. He sits so funny. He boasts incredible fighting power. So his triple S is 12.9% defense. He mainly sticks to fire. He has a blunt and harsh way of speaking and prefers to use action. He runs really funny. I don't know why, but the way he runs, maybe it's his face when he runs. It looks so weird. Tyrant Rave version beta. An attack skill that dispels all buffs and makes the enemy unable to be buffed. Okay. Increases fighting spirit. A cool attack. Volcanic Viper. When enemies use a non-attack skill or when a boss or elite monster... That looks really passive, weird. This like that looked super weird. That looked like it was out of a fighting game. I guess that's the point. When fighting spirit reaches 100, all fighting spirit is consumed, and the casters grant. So weird. He's he's just such a weird character. I'm not sure what to think about him yet. A basic skill that deals more damage against unbuffed. Okay, okay. Let's get into the patch notes. That's kind of weird. I I'm I'm not sold on him yet. So let's take a look at their actual abilities here. Um, we also have their stats. Let me bring those up really quick first. So this is what I mean by stuff was everywhere. I didn't see this ahead of time or the video um, because it wasn't in the patch notes. So um, it's going to be an Earth Thief, exactly what I guessed. I figured um, she was going to be Earth Thief and Soul was going to be a Fire Warrior. So I had that on point. Um, four points uh, attack there. We can see her stat. She's got 113 speed. Kind of wish she was faster. Um, I feel like she should be faster. Uh, she's got a good amount of attack and low defense, pretty high HP. As for her attacks here, um, it has a two bleed effects with 70% chance, um, and it reduces the school skill cooldown by one turn. And her second skill here is uh, three bleed effects for two turns with an 80% chance, and a critical hit will grant an extra turn. And her final, darn it, I always do that. No, come back. And her final ability, Gario Tensei, is uh, just a detonate. They actually added detonate to like a keyword style thing. Um, the exact same thing as Surin has, I believe. And a critical hit increases the combat readiness of all allies by 20. That is just such a weird thing to add, but it's so insane. It can make her so broken. Anytime you attach combat readiness to literally anybody, 
um, stuff gets nuts, you know, like you, you never know what's gonna happen. So for example, um, what you could do with this skill set is you could use a, uh, like, you could use a Ruset as a booster, for example, and then you could boost into her. And then you could use your thingy here, inflict three bleed effects, um, and then detonate them and give your entire team 25% combat readiness. Uh, so that's an option you could do. There's just so many possibilities with uh, a skill set like this. Um, and let's look at Soul Bad Guys. He's got uh, defense on the right two sides. I really like that. I don't like when there's defense and it's on the left too. It's like, come on, put it in the defense tank slot. He's got 119 speed somehow, which is pretty nuts. So 1200 ish attack, uh, low um, HP, and a little over average defense, I would say. And as for his abilities here, his abilities are just. I'm not sure what to think about them. Um, he has a uh, attacks an enemy with pillars of fire, and the damage dealt is increased if the enemy isn't buffed, and it gains fighting spirit when crits are made. The second is like a counter attack passive, kind of like um, ML Ken's, I believe, except for not when it's crit, when somebody uses a non um, attack spell, so when somebody heals or buffs or something like that. But the sad part is, um, like I, when I first saw that wording, I thought it was meant to counter um, double booster teams, but it doesn't actually do that because like the Ruzid boosts up and then you counter the Ruzid and silence him and then you're dead. Um, so it doesn't work like that, but it will work for something like a GVG, a Guild vs. Guild, um, having that healer lockdown. But unfortunately right now, a lot of the healers used are not... Uh, are, are, are effective against them because they're water so that might cause some problems but in the future that should definitely make things good and i think that's where he's going to be used i really have no idea it also works against boss monsters too um i guess i just kind of need to see their um their modifiers you know? like it makes such a big difference and then his final one is um a single target attack that dispels all buffs before making them unable to be buffed for two turns and damage proportionate to enemies and max health. So yeah, I, I'm not really sure what to think about these two units. They're just such weird skill sets that it's so hard to say like, oh, such and such is gonna be insane. Oh, such and such is gonna be bad. Um, I'm not really comfortable saying that anywhere yet. Um, one thing I will mention is Viken feels like she is literally just like, um, Karin on one side and Surin on the other side, and she's just like, there you go, that's her. Um, and both of those units are semi-good, so maybe putting them together and adding some higher multipliers makes her nuts, I'm not sure. Um, the other sad or good part, depending on how you look at it, is her typing. Um, I'm not sure where this will be useful, like you're not using her in Wyvern or anything like that. Um, I don't see her use in Golem. It just doesn't do enough. So I, I'm just not sure. I'm on the fence, let's just say that. Um, but anyways, let's get into the actual patch notes here. Now that we've taken a look at the characters, the cool parts here is that Viken is going to be summonable. We know for sure she's on the 121 um, limited. And her artifact here, uh, we'll scroll through it in a bit. Let's talk about that. After. Let's go in order. I'm sorry, I'm all off base because I had to redo this. But we're getting uh, Bale and Cezanne as well coming in. Office tech, buddy, I'm making a video. Uh, we're getting Bale and Cezanne and Rin. We've already talked about these in another video. If you want to see it, I would check it out. Basically, these two are ridiculously overpowered from the outside and probably better than they even look. Um, so now is the time to use your Mystics, especially everybody who got ML Araminta and uh, can now spend all their savings because they are nutso. So we've got the two artifacts here. Junkyard Dog is a 50% chance to inflict burn on a basic skill, and Torn Sleeve, which is the gacha one that goes with Baiken, is a 100% chance to inflict a bleed for two turns on any skill, so not just basics. Um, the reason why uh, this one's harder to proc is because a burn is generally more powerful. Scales better with your attack. And what else is there? If there is anything else interesting, of course it is a pity summon, so we are getting the 120 summons, we did know that. We've also basically confirmed that Eno is not playable now, which makes me really sad because I wanted to see the most. And the cool part is Soul Bad Guy is free Arena. 100% free. Um, 
You can buy him here from the event, and one thing to note is you can buy multiple of him. So you can buy one here, you can buy one here, you can get one from the quest, so at least three that I saw you can get. So if you're going to 6-star Soul Bad Guy, don't get the first one and immediately 6-star him. I mean, you can if you want, but wait until you get the other ones and then promote them with the other one. Get the memory imprint. Don't waste the fodder. Just chill a little bit on your leveling up soul bad guy. Also get his artifact for free and at least one to two more of the other art artifacts. And just like any other event, I'm going to go through this, but you should be buying basically 100% these every time. You should be looking at the catalyst and as long as you have... Um, like under 30 of them, I would say buy the Catalyst too, and especially if there's an Epic Catalyst in the event that makes them more likely. You have to buy the Seed and the Phantasm, and I also buy the Epic Light Runes because those are such a pain to farm. And I also buy all of these, and it's basically the exact same thing for every event, so make sure you get everything you can. As for the rewards here, tons and tons and tons of stuff. You can see a Junkyard Dog, another junkyard dog, and you can see a gold transmit stone. They finally gave us one for one of these stupid events that makes me happy. Um, and we have the powder of knowledge changing too. Unfortunately, this rotation is kind of bad. We've got Etika's Iron Fan, Ubris's Tooth, and Noble Oath. That said, I'm buying three of these. I'm going to be buying um, Etika's Iron Fan and Ubris's just because I don't have them. I'm also um, a big believer in Iron Fan being useful sometime in the future, so... Um, I don't want to go without having that artifact. Like, I don't feel comfortable leaving Iron Fan behind. And I have no, like, dps warrior artifacts, so Ubers' Tooth is actually going to help me out, um, especially for my Luna. So I'm pretty excited for that. And Etika's is just something I want, but I'm not sure where I will use. And this is just um, them talking about Detonate as well, because Detonate uh, kind of needed to be explained. It's the same as Rin, though. It just blows stuff up. Um... I thought this was funny too. An issue that caused Arrow's shield to trigger every turn in the side story of Vampire's Thirst has been fixed. You know, I kinda, I kinda, I'm, I'm at Mango. I'm kinda surprised somebody actually noticed that because the shield is so slow. You ruined my joke when I misclicked. I, I had a joke coming, guys. It was coming and I was gonna make fun of her shield and now it's over, so you guys don't get a joke. I'm sorry. Um, other cool things, interesting things I saw. Improvements have been made so that players no longer have to touch the tap button when they summon. That makes me sad. I love sitting there taunting you guys. Um, so I'm not sure how that is going to go. I guess you just hit summon once and it just like pops right out. Um, I like tapping it. Any any sort of interaction with my summons that makes me experience the experience more or like um, enjoy the experience more makes me happy. So that's kind of sad, but it is what it is. And... Um, that's about it. So we have a couple other things. We are getting some Moonlight packs, uh, or at least two collaboration packs, one that has Moonlights in it. So I'm guessing these are like 50 and 100 bucks or something like that. The value looks like it's there. Um, the right one is 50 Leafs, 1500 Gems, um, 3 million gold, 70 bookmarks, 10 Galaxy bookmarks, 3 Molagora, exactly as we had data mined. And the other one is a 4 to 5 star hero and a bunch of other stuff here. Also getting a Molagora challenge. Yay, I love when they give us that. Um, so yeah, uh, this is a pretty cool patch. It's jam-packed. It's like a six-hour maintenance. I am not unhappy with what they've done with things. I'm pretty happy with the characters. I, I like that I don't exactly know if they're overpowered right off the bat, and I, I want to plus with them, and I want to play with them and see where they're used. That's really what I like when I see a character. I want to be like... This looks fun. I want to use that character, so I'm pretty excited to try Baiken out. Um, I will be summoning for Baiken immediately when the servers are up, which is in however long from now, four hours or something ridiculous like that. So if you want to see that, join us on stream. I would love to see you there. The link is in the description below. Um, and I hope to not join the 121 club. I think I'm only going for one. I haven't decided, but I may go for another depending on how things go. I really like having one imprint on characters. So yeah, that's about it for now. Um, feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always. It helps out so much. Hit that notification bell as well if uh, you want to see when I put up videos. And I will talk to you all later. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye, everybody.